Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, we've got another video coming up. Um, last week we had just an awesome video between my sister and my dad and they talked about marketing and my sister's just awesome at doing the internet stuff and, and some of the high tech stuff. So I hope that was helpful for you. This week we've got another special guest, my brother-in-law, my sister's husband. So um, this is Steve. Uh, Renee's better half, or I don't know, that, that's up for debate, I suppose. I get in but, trouble with that part. <laughs> yeah, so um, what Steve's forte is, really is direct sales. So when they're at the fairs, different places, that's the kind of thing that he really specializes in, where Renee has her gifts, Steve is uh, gifted in other ways. So I guess, you know, we'll do a question and answer thing, kind of like okay. what they did. Um, so tell me, you know, how you actually started from a direct sales standpoint. Where did you start out and where, how did it evolve from that? Well, when I first started the signs, it was 1986 in Anchorage. I knew Renee's dad, car signs. Mm -hmm. You were too young. Yeah, I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. And I worked in construction during the winter. Mm -hmm. And I found out at 30 below, corn concrete hurts. <laughs> so I thought the next week and I did, next winter I didn't want to do it. And I said, wow, Renee's dad car signs. Okay, so I went out and bought a one and a half horsepower Craftsman router, yeah. bought some plastic letters, started cutting. That was it. <laughs> that was so it. So how'd you sell them? I mean, what'd you First do? First time at the flea market, I had 10 displays. And I just started talking to people at the flea markets. Really? And I was getting as pretty much week daily sales there as we do now, and ours look 100 times better. Yeah. But people yeah. want signs for their homes. Right. And I don't mind talking to people, so right. it works really good. Yeah. When I go anywhere, grocery store, somebody says hello and I introduce myself, I show them a business card. Yeah. I tell them I make signs. It's amazing how many times Renee and I went to dinner and had somebody order a sign. Oh, that's good. They paid for our dinner. Yeah. And I just learned to do it. So you evolved. So you started at, at you know, the flea markets or swap meets. And so then what was the next step? Where did you do evolve from? or two from there. Well then I went into the Diamond Center Mall. Which is like in just a mall. It's a big mall. Rented a kiosk out in the hallway mm -hmm. and had a bunch of signs and just started doing it seven days a week at the right, mall. Right in the mall. Yeah. yeah. The wife Renee, she routed them at home. Uh -huh. I took the orders during the day. Right. What did that cost you to get into that mall? That was two thousand a month. Woo! Yeah, was, yeah that's, you gotta do a lot that's of signs. Eighty nineteen eighties 86. $86. Wow. Yeah. Man. A lot of okay. money. Yeah. But you still found it profitable? You still oh, yeah. sold enough signs that it yeah. made If you learn to talk to people, if they come up and they want to talk fishing, you talk fishing. Yeah. They want to talk hunting, camping, whatever they talk about. Yeah. I feel if I can keep them in front of the booth for 15 minutes, sometimes they almost feel obligated. Yeah. But okay. they know I'm talking to them sincerely. I'm not trying to. Right. So. I'm not a forced salesman. We're just talking. Yeah. The more displays you got, gives them ideas. Mm -hmm. I got a book about two inches thick yeah. with pictures of massive amount of signs. So if they don't see anything on the table that catches their eye, everybody that I talk about, hand them that book. Yeah. They start looking pretty quick. They'll see a sign that we've done that has a, a rose. Yeah. Oh, that's what I want. Then they order. Yeah. Right. Okay, but then it gets very expensive. So yeah. then we got out of the mall. And we moved in what people really need to know about is the military bases. Military bases. So you moved from the Diamond Center Mall yep. where you're paying two grand a month and yep. now you, you found another avenue moving into the and I yep. know you're a veteran, decorated yep. veteran, but uh, so you moved into the military base. How did that whole thing happen? Well I found I got the address for the manager of the BXPX there in Elmendorf Air Force Base. Yeah. Had a meeting, showed them what I did, and they said, sure. So I came in there, I had a kiosk out in the hallway, same size kiosk I had at the Diamond Center, and it's just a percent of your sales. Really? So there's no monthly rent. If you sell nothing, you pay nothing. Really? That's and Most nice. of the bases are 20% of your sales. You right. cannot beat it, and it's an avenue to have a business where you'd never be able to afford to have a monthly business. And did, you, did you carve right on site? No, we have the kiosk on the hallway, but the manager right now of the Elmendorf Air Force Base at the BX, 
I could bring our trailer in there. We could actually now carve on site, right, right. in the front door of the BX, right outside. Right. But it's better to keep our shop in our house sure. and work out of that way. And you don't find you lose sales because oh, of no. that? No, no. Really? Not at all. Really? We tell them seven days So to pick I, up a sign. So so you you could be there on the base seven days a week yep. if you, if you want yep. to and the and, and this is in an area that there are other vendors and yep. it's a, like a mall kind it's, of it's thing? a regular mall but on the base on the base there's inline stores you know right. you're, there's a a chocolate store in there right. there's a uh, H and R block store in there how about the hours. It's, well, at the base here, at the, there in Anchorage, it's 9 in the morning till 7. Really? So really easy hours. Yeah. You go to a mall downtown somewhere, it could be 9 to 10. Yeah. Right. And it's great. And if you want to go just a Monday through Friday, on a base, you can do that. Hmm. If you want to go just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, the long You weekends. can do that. Right, right. During the winter, yeah. up there, I'm not a snow person. <laughs> We've been to Anchorage since 1982. Yeah. But I don't mind working during the winter, so yeah. I'm there all the time. Yeah. But for the six months out of the year we're doing our job, we make a yearly living. Wow. And have fun yeah. while we're doing it. Renee, my wife, she's in the shop, running the computers, running the routers, yeah. and I'm doing the talking. Yeah. And it works great. So when you're on the base, you just take orders? And then uh, the the signs are made in your shop in another location. Yep. Then you take them back for your customers. And to I pick bring up. them back on the seventh day. Excellent. And it right. works great. So there's bases all over the world. Yeah. And right. I've already talked to my manager if I ever wanted to come down mm -hmm. for us to do winter work here. Say so get out of Anchorage. Yeah. Come down. We can go to any base we want to. They will contact the bases for us. Right. And you can go right in. So it's wow. it's an avenue that man really is it's unbelievable and it's free rent yeah do you um uh, what do you know if there was ever any si other sign carvers in there uh you know when before you came in or when you came in was there a sign carver there no, or no. so it was, i've been in alaska by ourselves it's the state is yours pretty the much. state of ours and if somebody <laughs> does come in, they can't talk like I do, so they leave. <laughs> well, and, you, and, and now, you know, honestly, I'm sure that you have people that you have bought signs for you from year, for years and just keep coming back, so you have a lot, well, a lot of repeat business. Continuous. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and plus, you get in an area, I thought we'd flood the market. Yeah. You know, sooner or later you're going to. But when you got an area, you got a 40, 50, 60 percent turnaround every four or five years. Right being in Anchorage yeah. because of the weather and stuff. But any base you go to, right. there's a turnaround continuously. People in, coming they're in, come in, in for their out. three years, they leave. Yeah. They come in for three years, they leave. So there is a, a new constant call. new group of people. Yeah. Wow. That is a... Man, that's a million dollar uh, oh. business idea right there. Makes me want to go out and start carp almost. Almost. Like. But um, yeah, so... That, and, and so you don't have to be a, a, a veteran no, in order no, to no, do that. No, no. You just you just contact them and say, I want to talk to somebody about getting a spot. Right. In the main gate of most bases, mm -hmm. there is a information center where everybody has to go in to oh. get a pass to go on the base anyway. Right, right. So you would go in there and ask for the mall manager for the... PX, BX. Uh -huh. A lot of bases now are dual bases like Anchorage now because you got the Elmendorf Air Force Base, you got the uh, uh, Army Base. Right and now it's a joint. So they both. Yeah, and I. I but yeah, I you find the that. one, uh, the manager, and they'll give you the address or yeah. phone number. Right. You call them. They'll meet you at the gate. You go to the, the mall and have a interview. Man. They'll show you what they got. Yeah, and then that's yeah, a that's really a niche, great. guys. We talk about niches all the time. Find a niche. That's a niche that doesn't sound like it's uh, that tough to do, and it sounds like that's definitely a niche. If you're somewhere in an area where there's a military base nearby, check it out. I mean, what do you got to lose? So that's that's terrific. Yeah, so, our Army, Navy, Marines, and and yeah, any and military Air Force guys. included. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it what's good too is how many. Uh, People can start a business. Yeah. Most sign people 
Probably I'm talking Dave and you. A lot of people only did it at fairs. Right. How many people do you find doing the sign business that can really have a year-round business? Yeah. Unless you have a place to do it. Yeah. Right. Right. And Great the, information. Know, yeah, th that's fantastic. So between what Renee shared with Dad last week, what do we got here? Let's see. Summer that's an off-camera note. Yeah, that's a cue cards, guys. <laughs> First time ever yeah. from my sister, a cue cards. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Summer downtown tourists. You guys, you talked about that on the last one, though, right? Summer downtown okay. tourists. You you got your your talking <laughs> point yes. here. Okay. Okay. So when we're life. doing the market downtown, <laughs> the trailer that I built up, we have the machines in the back of the trailer. I can stay out in front. I get the orders. The wife's in the back eating the sawdust. Mm. So yeah. I get to do more fish. Tourists everywhere. Yeah, uh, everywhere. Right. Yeah, Germany, England. Right. Much but, like the, you know, much like the, the in the southwest, and, and, you guys. and on the military bases, the military, almost all the military people, their families, are there during the summer comes to those bases, to those towns, yeah. to visit their families. Right. So again, you have everybody. Yeah. So you family, got, you got military personnel, you got military, and when you're on a base, yeah. anybody can shop in the hallway. Yeah. To go into the BX store, uh -huh. you have to be military. Oh. But they can go to the food court. They can go to the the stores. The vendors in the hallway. Yeah. Yep. And That's so again, it it's just okay. an amazing thing. Wow. And and it works. Yeah. Terrific. All right, you guys. I think we I think we gave you <laughs> some pretty good ideas there. So again, thanks Steve Thank and Renee you. for being our our special guest. You guys did a fantastic job. So don't forget, guys. Go to our channel, subscribe to our channel, and you'll you'll see uh, get notified when we have the brand newest uh, videos come out, which we do once a week now. Also, uh, makingwoodsign.com. You'll see all the links and and stuff in the comments underneath this video. So we'll get this posted up. And uh, again, thanks to Renee and Steve for coming in. And check and Steve and Son signs. Steve and Son signs. <laughs> I'll put that I'll put that link in the in the comments too, so you can go to their website and their Facebook. Facebook page and see all that stuff. So um, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next week.